Now guys, welcome back to Philcraft Catties. Today I'm reviewing the Spitfire by Leeton's Catties. Um, I absolutely love this frame, so let's go into a bit more depth about it. But one thing else that I really love about the Dan Leeton Spitfire is the fact that it comes in 85, 90 and 95 millimeter forks. So it suits a wide variety of smaller hands and larger hands. It's the perfect all-rounder frame. It's incredibly accurate. I love, I love the just the curves, the bevel on it makes it feel really nice in the hand and comfortable. Uh, the stainless steel clamps it. You know the you know your bands are not coming out of that anytime soon. It also comes in green, white, orange, grey, and blue. I've got the grey version as you can see, and then I'm using my own band sets on there. But you can order yourself this frame. You can have it clamped, unclamped, and you can order some Dan Leeton bands as well with it, which they are extremely powerful and extremely good if you're looking for some good fun and cutting a can in half and like less than 15 shots, you know what I mean? So we've gone over some of the details in the frame, like the bevels and stuff like that on it and how nice it is to hold in the hand. But um, yeah, now we're going to go into the finer details of how to shoot it. Well, we're going to show some clips of uh, shooting it first with bit of audio dialogue and then we're going to go over and come back and teach you how to shoot it, your aiming points and the best ways to hold the frame etc etc. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, it's just started absolutely pouring it down as you can see but yeah we'll get on with the video. So I put up one of um, a little homemade spinner I made out of the bottom of a can at about 6 metres and I was using the Spitfire in 9.5mm steel and my catch target, I set my phone up, there's two cuts and I obviously cut the little bits and I think all in all out of about 25 rounds I think I had three misses. Um, absolutely incredible frame, frame. I it. bottle caps, I have it matchsticks a lot, I'll include all those videos and probably after this clip. and. Yeah, as you can see, it's really battering it. I'm only using light bands for this. I'm not using the bands that Dan Leeton sells himself, as I, the for me. And as you can see, it really did batter the hell out of this little can spinner that I made. It only a small can, maybe 40, 50 millimeters, but it still packed a punch and was incredibly accurate. Got a f even though I was using lighter bands, it was still accurate enough to tear that tab which was duct tape and two layers of tin very thick very very hefty couldn't have done that with many other frames that i've tried out personally but yeah a hundred percent recommend this frame i absolutely love the way it feels in the hand the weight of it, it Alright, we're back. Now I'm going to teach you how to shoot it and the finer details of how to hold the frame and shoot in it. So let's first off, let's start on how to hold the frame and handle it properly. So you always want your steel, the stainless steel clamps to be facing forward so you just have the gold and silver rivets in the back facing you. Because if you hold it with, them face, with the steel facing you, you have a higher chance of your band slipping out, coming back, hitting you in the face. Now once that's happened, so keep them that way so the bands pull over the frame. This pretty much goes with every slingshot as far as I'm aware. And then, like, so there's a couple different ways of holding it. You can hold it pinch grip, which is like that, which personally I find isn't very good for the Spitfire. It's very slidey and you end up slipping off. So the way I like to hold it is I just rest it on the middle bit of my index finger on there and then put my thumb like that. That's how I like to hold it. Make sure your frame... I hold it um, gangster style, which is 90 degrees like that. Some people hold it 45 or even upwards like that. Me personally, I find it a lot easier to shoot like this. And then um, you can also hold it like that. Or I know on a lot of other frames, some people like to hold it on top that doesn't really go so much for the spitfire as it's got the sharp edges go leading up hence why it's kind of made for people who shoot like this a bit more a bit more so but 
that's pretty much all the basics it's very simple to hold that's one thing i love about this frame there's no finicky bits you have to slit your fingers into and all stuff like that it's just easy quick grab it now when it comes to shooting the frame same goes on holding it make sure bands are pulled over the top etc etc and then it's this top corner so when you're when you're aiming out like that you want you don't want it like that or that. Some people like to shoot like that and some people like to put lean like that and lean backwards on it. Me personally, I hold it with a tiny bit of forward lean and when I let go of the bands, I just let my wrist go forward like that and that just helps fling the ammo, helps the bands fly straight, etc. But it's, but you basically want to aim on this top corner here. So when you, you pull back and you aim up that top corner on where you want to shoot, release the bands and then hopefully you should hit it. It, obviously, like any other sport, it takes a while to get used to, a while to learn. But once you've learned it, it's great fun and incredibly accurate. As you've seen in the shooting clips with it, I've been shooting it for a couple of weeks now. Um, it is my everyday frame, my favourite frame that I own. and I'm very accurate with it. And that's how I shoot. Shoot like that. Top corner. Let the bands go. And hopefully you hit stuff. But... Another thing you want to make sure is when you pull your bands back, you don't want your frame to be like this or like this. You, you want ev everything to be straight on one axis. So your bands, the top one should be, you shouldn't be able to see the bottom one from the top one if you sort of understand that. I'll do. I'll show that in a minute. It's a bit hard to do with one hand at the moment. But once you pull it back, top band, top band covering the bottom band, top corner on the object, hold it, arm straight, locked in. There you go. And so if you look at that, I've just got clamped in my knees at the moment, it's a bit easier to show on camera. But you'd have it held like that, and then do you see what it means? So you don't want it like that or like that, you want that top band completely covering the bottom band. But yeah, that's pretty much it on the Spitfire by Dan Leeton. Um, if you have any suggestions on future videos or frames for us to try out, comment below. I know sometimes the commenting doesn't work, YouTube often turns it off, so if it's turned off, email us at fieldcraftcatties at gmail.com. And um, we'd love to hear your suggestions. Anyways, thanks for watching.